This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Black Youngster recently did an interview with 2B's TV, and we all know Black Youngster's very entertaining every time he comes up here. And uh, remember, he was throwing money all over the place. Yep. Y'all got mm-hmm. some. Anyway, he talked about an experience with a woman that was a little bit crazy. I know I would be scared if this happened to me. Listen to what he said. Uh, I went to my room, and it was a girl in a wash, in a dryer, and she came out on me out the blue. And she just popped out the blue, blue. She was drunk, broke in my room, and hit in, hit in the dryer. And what happened after that? I got the whore out of there. <laughs> hit in the dryer? Who hides in the dryer? That's Who can sit in the dryer? And what if you can't get out? That is a fact. Like, and how do you even close? I guess you just close it from the inside. You can't even. But spy- why would you hide in the dryer of all places? You can't even spy good in the dryer because you can't hear nothing in the dryer. Right. So if you're trying to spy on a person, you can't even hear nothing. And then was she barely just, can see? Was she in there like you know how to tell? Be stuck on it? Like I don't even understand. Was she in a circular like a circle in there? Mm-hmm. Like how do you even fit in the dryer? How small was this woman? <laughs> Never tried it. Thought about it a few times though. Have you? <laughs> Definitely. You thought about hiding yeah, in the Yeah, because you always see, like, you know, I remember watching Orange is the New Black. I forgot what season, and the, the, the woman was in the dryer, and I always think, like, what? Can I actually fit in the dryer? I always think about it, but I've never done it. It's one of those things you think about when you've had a couple of drinks, maybe. You know what I think about? What? what? Where would I hide if the purge came to Brooklyn? If there was a purge, what would I do? Because I wouldn't want to be out in the street. Yo, you pass some of that weed with me for the Pass some of that weed. So I actually have a space, but I can't tell y'all in case something happens. I don't want you to know where I'm hiding. <laughs> great. So you got to hide. <laughs> great, great. You ready great. to play hide and go seek if the purge starts? <laughs> if the purge starts, hey, I'm good to go. Nothing, Trust wrong, me. nothing wrong with a little pre-planning. Right. You got to. You never thought about if the purge comes, where are you going to go? No, I got no. guns. I got guns in the house. That doesn't matter. You clearly haven't seen the purge. No, I haven't. They have guns too. They ain't clearly seen and my chopper. And killing is legal during the time of the purge. No, that's good. I'm going right. my ground. Amber Rose has a new man, and it looks like Monte Morris from the Denver Nuggets is her new boyfriend. According to TMZ, they're not seeing anybody but each other, and they're enjoying their time together. They met over a year ago, but just started dating after Amber Rose broke up with 21 Savage. So even though she misses 21 Savage, it looks like she's moved on. So that's who her new man. They're holding hands. They have pictures of them out and about together. Okay. There you have it. I mean, Amber's, I mean, you can't even really get excited over stuff like that because Amber's just living her life like it's golden. She's right. just living her best life. She'll be with him for a few months, maybe a year. Now, this was a, a nice to see. Model Mara Martin, she was walking the runway for Sports Illustrated, and while she was on the runway, she actually was breastfeeding her five-month-old daughter on the runway. Was the outfit designed to, like, have the breast up? If oh. you have Revolt TV. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. She has on a swimsuit. I can a swimsuit, that. yeah. That's dope. She posted, wow, what a night. Words can't even describe how amazing I feel after being picked to walk the runway for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. Anyone who knows me knows it has been a lifelong dream of mine. I can't believe I'm waking up to headlines with me and my daughter in them for doing something I do every day. It's truly so humbling and unreal, to say the least. I'm so grateful to be able to share this message and hopefully normalize breastfeeding and also show others that women can do it all breastfeeding is it normal I mean, <laughs> you know some people act like it's not some people get mad if women breastfeed in public what yeah some people have issues with that. they must not have kids yeah and i'm more mad that adults drink cow milk and not breast milk i always wonder about that and i'm so upset for that little girl because how can you get good gulps if mama is walking mama got to keep still so i can the baby properly looks feed nice and comfortable mm. the way she's holding the baby so. what's the last time you had some breast milk charlotte man i know you were into that for a while and your wife is uh, pregnant, so... Oh, God, yeah. Yes, she is. Thank you for spilling my beans. Well, congratulations, oh, Charlemagne. Oh, wow. You told wow. us that during an drop, interview. Drop a bomb for, for, for Charlemagne no. and his family and his Hold wife. Hold on, Envy. He didn't tell us that during an interview. No, I've never said that I on think, air. I think that uh, we took that out. We yeah. actually had a meeting yesterday, and I <laughs> said I was waiting until the baby he, actually got here. He definitely did say that. Oh, she, I swear he told us in an interview, and that's how I found out. No, can't we, we kind of took it out. Throw out the whole rumor report. All right, forget it. Well, my congratulations, God. Charlemagne. Oh, my goodness. Any na- any baby names? Rashawn, Rashana, anything like that? Uh, leave me alone. Uh, this is not something I'm ready to discuss, but I will. <laughs> it's too late now. I, will. I, will. I didn't know I will. it was a secret. Okay. Good job, ye. Yes. Well, right. this is the rumor yes, report, so another, you heard it here first. It's exclusive. I have another child on the way. I'm going to be here in September. Another, oh, Virgo an, season. An, nice. An, another little, Libra. Another little, it's a Libra. Another little girl. The baby's I, going to be a Libra. Because that's what I get. Right? Okay. That's what I deserve. Three girls, <laughs> baby. For, for, for all my BS in right. my life. And really that also, think about that Rashana, also means you have Rashana. a week back. 
Just so you know, when you keep having girls, your back is very weak. Stop, man. You're going to make me cry. I'm going to kick it in. <laughs> <laughs> I want to think about it. Okay? I'm not ready for this right now. All, All right. right. Well, you know what I got for you right now? Sierra's got some new music. She has a yes! new song out. Oh, God. The baby definitely ain't coming out. No. I, <laughs> this will get the baby out. I don't care what you say. I have always loved me some Sierra. Let me hear it. Okay. Sierra, dope. I like it. It's called Level Up. And this is for the new baby girl on the way. Level Up. Level Up. Level Up. Five, four, three, three two, one. Let go. Level up, 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 level